Hey everyone, Vincent here from VincentWin.com and today in this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at what layer maps are in ChefCode form. I'm going to teach you what layer maps are used for, what does it actually do, and you know, when would you want to use layer maps in ChefCode form in After Effects. So, you know, this is actually a video request by someone. They wanted to know about layer maps in general, more about ChefCode form and how to incorporate, you know, a color of an image and transfer that image color to, you know, the particles of form or particular. And so I'm going to be covering that right now with layer maps. But basically, as you see here, we have our form layer right here, and it's just form, nothing else, no shine, no nothing, just form. And as you can see, we have a lot of variation in color. Now, as you as you know, form doesn't really give you much option to change the color and add variation of color. I mean, you can go into form here, and now we can go under the particles tab, and say you wanted to change the default color from white to maybe a light blue. You know, you can go in here and select a light blue, and maybe you would get something like this, you know? And then you can change around the transfer mode. You know, you can change the transfer mode from normal to add to get some, you know, some basic variation in the brightness of your color. But, you know, we don't have that much options to change and add a lot of variation regarding color-wise anyways. So in order, in order to achieve something like this, you're going to need to use something called layer maps and mapping a color from an image to the um, color in alpha. And basically, you know, it's kind of hard to understand right now, but I'm going to go ahead and explain it a little bit better by creating a new composition. So let's create a new composition. I'm going to name it tutorial and I'm going to create a new form layer. So new solid and just drag in form pretty, pretty simple. So we have our basic grid of form. I'm going to go ahead and mess around with the base settings a little bit to explain this a little bit better. I'm going to play around with the size. So see, we just have a basic grid of particles right now. So how do I add some variation in color? Well, let's say you find a really, really cool image and you want to use that those colors in that image to create, you know, particles with the same color. Now, of course, we can only have one color in form per form layer. But let's say we wanted to add like five different colors on one form layer. So what you need to do is find an image. I have a stock image right here of my piano keyboard, my grand piano. And what you may and what you guys may not have noticed at all was that this image right here, this form layer, is actually a piano keyboard. If you didn't notice, but if you did, you know, post a comment below. It's pretty interesting if you guys noticed that. But I'm gonna scale this image down a little bit. It's a little bit too large. But yes, it is stock image that I took for myself. If you want to download this image and use it or use it in your own works, just click on the video description and uh, click on the link below. But anyways, let's say we want our form layer to, you know, take the colors of this. So say that you like this orange right here. You like this kind of black color right here, this nice green color. So we're going to set it as a layer map. Let's go into form right now and pop open. Scroll down until you see layer maps. And the, the first one, color and alpha, is where we set the and change the color. Of course, there are a whole bunch of options like the displacement map, size, fractal strength. But basically, layer maps are what... um use another layer to guide something such as the color or displacement. But in this case, let's change the color and use a layer to set the color and map the color. So let's set our layer to the piano keys.jpg and our layer map just closed on us. Let's open that up again. And as you see here, our layer is set to the piano keys.jpg and nothing really happens. The color of four doesn't really change. Oh, by the way, you can turn off your uh, JPEG or image layer because we don't really need to show at all and as you can see nothing really happens that's because we need to map the color over X and Y so go over map over and select X and Y so the colors will get mapped over the X and Y axis so right now you start to see our keyboard appearing right now so the color of our key the color of our image is being transferred over to the particles of course if you increase the number of particles in the X axis you can start filling those little gaps kind of like pixels so already you can kind of start seeing the keyboard and you know you can use this effect to create some somewhat of a hologram projector effect you know an alarm clock effect you know it's a pretty interesting way to create kind of a digital screen lcd kind of old screen look futuristic code look using this but you know and if you want to add more variation we can go into the fractal field and you know just affect the size by one and pull up the displacement I don't know. It's really whatever you want to do with it. You can change the flow. We can go up to the dispersed and twist. We can disperse it out a little bit. Basically, it's whatever you want to do, particularly. 
but the gist is, you know, if you want to use color from an image, you can use layer map. If you want to use, you know, the size of something, you can use it and set layer map. But basically, that's what layer maps are. You know, it can give you a little more spice in your um, form layer. And, you know, this is how I create the cinematic particles animation a while back. If you haven't seen it, click on the video description below and click on the link. But anyway, it's, you know, in that animation, I had a whole bunch of color. I had, like, you know, yellow particles, orange particles, red particles, brown particles. I had a whole bunch of particles. And, you know, it was a pain in the ass to create, you know, five separate form layers of different colors. So I used an image map of an image I created in Photoshop, imported that in, and used the color map layer as a color map for my form particles. And it had orange, brown, all those colors combined. So, you know, very similar to this image right here. And, you know, you can add a glow to it, whatever you want. But basically, that is the gist of um, the layer maps basing on color and alpha. So if you want to transfer your color over to, you know, form, this is a really quick and easy way. But thanks a lot, guys, for requesting this video tutorial. If you have any more video tutorial requests or anything like, thing, anything like that regarding form, go ahead and send it in because I'll do a video tutorial on it. You guys seem to like form a lot because, I don't know, ever since I did that audio reaction tutorial, um, you guys got really interested in form. I got a whole bunch of requests on form in general, so pretty cool. I believe in particular you have a layer maps option as well, so check it out in particular. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below because I really appreciate, you know, your feedback. Even if it's a negative one, just leave a negative feedback if you want, but, you know, try to be constructive. And tell me what I can do to improve this video tutorial. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, guys. You guys are amazing. Check out my other video tutorials. Check out the Facebook. Link in the video description. Twitter, Facebook. I don't know. But um, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time.